Hi, uh, welcome back to the part 7 of my uh, project about vSphere installation. Uh, this part is about uh, installing operating system on the ESX. Usually once a company have all those ESX, the next part they need to do is to convert all this uh, oper uh, physical operating system to the uh, virtual machine and we usually do that with a converter uh, the converter enterprise can do that um, hot or, or cold hot means it's running at the same time and cold it's shut down in our example here I have uh, a running workstation uh, I have a running uh, Red Hat Enterprise for running on a workstation, workstation 7 um, I will just do this one, the cold one, using the workstation uh, uh, export as well. I'm just going to show you that it's running right now. Okay, so let's try to log in. And see the partitions. And the subdirectory. So, so it's a... Uh, it's a running machine. Let's power it off and do a cold uh, conversion. Oops, I realized that there is a two hard disk there. Um, I need to um, to delete that first. And that will not be easy. Let me run it first again. I will do that. On okay, I found um, another Red Hat 4, and but this one is a 64-bit. So this one, we don't need this one because it's uh, 16 gig and I don't want to play with 16 gig on uh, the motion that will uh, be motion forever. So this one, I hope this will run. It has only uh, 512 memory, one processor and 10 gig. I don't want any complication. Okay, good thing it's working. So let's power it up again and let's ready for the first thing we will do is to close this one because it's if this is open like this it's locked. We don't want to, to lock it, so we will do uh, an export import export on the file menu. Okay, after click next we will uh, use a source type, say for we will not use a physical one, we will just use a virtual appliance. And the file system is here. It's over there. You click next. In here, just uh, click next. Destination is, of course, an infrastructure. It means the ESX. And we will put that on our ESX1, which is 10. That is right. And we put the root path. And click next. And what will be our name? Red Hat 464. And it goes to ESX1. Uh, we'll put for storage 1 on the local disk uh, so that uh, I have a purpose of uh, showing you the virtual storage moving from local to share 1. And we'll use one neck. And next. And finish. And we will wait. This is probably around uh, 20 minutes. By the way, on our B Center, as you can see, um, this is the one that we're doing migration right now. And I have, uh, how do you call this one? Um, Windows 2003 already there. I can see that this okay. It was lag is the first time because it's probably it's just creating it. So this is the one you cannot power this one on because it's still not there. And but the uh, Windows 2003 you can see it's running and if you see the console here, it's running. Windows 2005, I mean 2003. We don't need it. And while it 
it's doing that uh, I already created another ESX for the purpose of uh, creating three clusters so let's add that ESX again it's esx3.bsphere.com and we need to use the root password yes next no license key and we use Trudel and finish as you can see it's uh, checking it and adding it to the to the main uh, data center and it's completed I don't, I don't want we don't need all this additional blah 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 and this one too and all these are identical to 1 and 2 it's 2 CPU, 2 gig, blah 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 okay it's still uh, doing the conversion by the way the next uh, part of this is probably uh, the vMotion creating a cluster about DRS and then high availability and um, fault tol tolerance will be included and some other things so watch out for it I'll pause it for now this, this will be slow okay it's done we can click close on this one now and let's see on our virtual, s virtual center data center if um, the granite AS4 will run so let's fire this one now Oops, it really don't want to run. It says it's incompatible. Let me understand this one first. Okay, this time I, I was able to tweak it. Um, I will not show you that. I cannot repeat it. Okay. Okay, so it's running. There's no tools, so I will have another video for that, for how to install tools on the Linux portion, if you are using just a text base. There's a trick on that one. Okay, um, there's another option to, um, of course, install the operating system is by creating a new virtual machi machine. And say for example, let's create another Windows 2000. Say this is a S data server, DB server. Okay. Um, the trick is on this DVD settings. You need to select client device. Client device meaning this one when you power on that one let's wait and then when it's looking for the ISO we can click here and we can say that's that's the ISO and in here since it's looking for the network boot up you can escape and it will cancel the PXE and then say operating system not found and then enter and then we will select B as the we will only install standard and da 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 it will be like that you know how to install windows probably